Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I know I'm late on an Endgame review, and it's been a week and a half since the movie came out, and it's already making uh, more than Avatar did in its first weekend, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk about my opinions on the movie without spoilers for now, and I'll get into spoiler territory. Um, biggest MCU film ever, like there's this, um... Like, one scene that's really, really big, and I'll get into that later, but it's so big. And then there's, like, little moments in there where it's like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Some of this film was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Um, so, with that, I think this is kind of already something that was told in the trailer, but the, he the heroes are going off to get Thanos, and um, they're, like probably going in like quantum to the quantum realm and time traveling that's probably something already everyone already knows without the spoilers i don't know but um so this film it's three hours long but if you really enjoy it it doesn't feel that long at all if you like really like like just like sit with the moments it's really it's really fine you don't even feel like it's three hours long um, but then when you start to think about it, it may have been three hours long. Um, although I do think it's a very well-made film. Um, so I feel like I'm just going to jump into spoilers right now. Um, freaking Black Widow and Iron Man. <laughs> um, the, uh, they both died. Um, my dad's in the other room, and he hasn't seen the movie, and he really wants to see it, so I'm, try I'm just trying to be quiet. Um, but that was kind of, like, really loud, and I hope you didn't hear it. Um, yeah, that happened. Um, and so basically, they, um, and Captain Marvel was hardly in this film, too. I don't feel like she had much of a big role anyway, because I wasn't too interested in her character in um, the Captain Marvel movie. Um, for reasons, but, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, Fortnite is still a thing, uh, five years later after Infinity War, which is weird, uh, because there's this one, they like playing Fortnite in the new Asgard, like, which is probably somewhere like in Norway. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's still a thing five years later, I guess they just wanted to promote, like, the, um, end game whatever it takes in fortnite i don't play fortnite but whatever um so the general story is the he, so tony and nebula are up in space um hawkeye's family dies and captain marvel comes in and saves them um they decide to go out and get the stones and then when they get to thanos's place stones he says the stones are destroyed and thor just straight up kills him because he's like has really bad PTSD because or something like that or he's just like really like has really bad anxiety or whatever <laughs> he's just he because he he feels bad that he because he thought thinks he killed the whole universe so it's five years later five years did they really have to Ghostbusters to this anyway um so yeah, they are like hopeless, and Scott Lang comes back from the quantum room after five years, which to him felt like four hour, five hours. So he goes to the Avengers, and they're like, "We can build a time machine." And so, um, they all come together, and Cat and Tony gives back Iron Man. Tony has a family in this movie. He has um him and uh Pepper Potts have now have a daughter named Morgan Stark, and there's the qu quote from her, "I love you three thousand, which. Anyway, um, so yeah, they decided to use quantum technology, and they only have, like, one shot at this, so they're going to groups and through different t periods in time to get the stones, so they do that, um, Cap, um, Steve, Tony, Hulk, oh, who's also Professor Hulk, he's kind of like a mix of Br Banner and Hulk, like, brains of Banner, body of Hulk, it's cool. It's funny. Um, and Scott Lang go to the first Avengers um, movie and the, get the Tesseract and the Mind Stone. Um, they succeed in getting the Mind Stone and the Time Stone, actually. But not the Space Stone, because Loki gets away with that. 
uh, cause for some reason, it's like, cause some stupid thing happened. Um, and then there's the, there's that one quote, um, from Captain America. There's actually both Captain Americas are fighting. It's really cool. Um, so they go to 70s where the, the Tesla Rock is stored there and Tony talks to his father and then they go back to 2023. 20, um, Thor, who's fat and Rocket go to, um, go to Asgard to get the reality stone in 2014 during the dark world. And they got Natalie Portman back in this movie. So they get that Thor sees his mother for one last time and take Mjolnir. So War Machine and Nebula go and get the Power Stone. And Nebula gets switched out with um, the 2014 Thanos because they share like the same mindset, which shows them the same memories because their dad is the same. It's crazy. Um, then, yeah, then that one switch places with this one. Um... And then they they get back with the power stone. Hawkeye and Natasha go to get the soul stone, and one of them has to die. And Hawkeye's like, I I'm going. <laughs> um, he's like, take care of my family. Nope. And then Black Widow dies. <laughs> and Hawkeye's holding the soul stone in his hand, and it actually gives me a theory that he can represents the soul stone. Anyway, off topic. So they all come back. And they build a gauntlet, and Hulk's the one that puts it on, and yeah, snaps everyone back. Um, but Thanos comes in in like this giant ship, and then it's like a little battle, and then like the Avengers headquarters completely collapses. It's cool, and then it's like, wait, Doctor Strange portals go. It's everyone in the MCU. Um. Everyone that died, everyone that's still alive, and Peter and Tony re reunite, and I'm like, yeah! And, um, Th Cap Captain America's actually will be a Mjolnir, if you remember, in Age of Ultron. Um, then they have, like, this big fight, it's amazing! It's like Return of the King. And then, um, to and then Tony and Thanos battle out one more time. Thanos gets all the stones because he wants to just kill the universe because he sees that nothing's nothing with killing half the universe. He's like, I am inevitable. Wait. Ah. Tony has the hands and stones like, yeah. And the, the one line, and I am Iron Man. All the bad guys go away, erasing that timeline. Oh, yeah. This, when you take... Hold on. So basically, when you change the future, it won't affect your timeline. It'll just create a new one. It's crazy, but you gotta watch the movie. Anyways, Tony dies. Um, War Machine, Pepper, and Peter are like, nah. and then funeral scene. Uh, Steve goes back to pull all the stones back in place and comes back as an old man, um, and then gives the his place to Falcon, and then, um, yeah, and then. And then the, at the funeral, they have, like, a wreath floating on the lake, and it says proof that Tony Stark has an R, and I'm like, yeah. Um, and also, uh, Steve and Peggy got to share their last dance. Yeah. I just summed a three-hour movie in so little time. By the way, there was no end credit scene, just us uh, smashing the hammer, which is, like, basically a callback to the first Iron Man movies. I you remember um a lot of the stuff was called back to the old marvel movies i got like a minute left to explain my thoughts <sighs> i'm really sad that robert down jr is gone from the mcu um he was the biggest character in it and we all loved him for that and us uh, and also scarlett johansson's gang she's actually producing the black widow movie so i'm like and I'm like, that's good. Like, it, but it's probably gonna be pretty cool. Um, great movie overall. I would really want to go see it again. I even though it's three hours long. Uh, I really think my dad just like heard everything I said. Yeah. Anyway, um, my time's about to end. So, by the way, my next video might be it chapter two. I don't know. Oh yeah, it is gonna be it chapter two because they just announced. That it will be out it, tomorrow at noon. Anyways, um, I'm gonna throw around with my Rubik's cube for now, just because I like to. And yep, yeah. see you guys next time. Bye.